Hello my wonderful friends, Megas here on a beautiful day in Asha and today we're going to discuss a beautiful disruption. It's that awakening process and all the different realizations that we have. I love to watch people in the ad awakening process where they've had everything figured out on how to fit into society. They know exactly how the game works, how to dress, act, and talk. But a funny thing happens, they start to get dissatisfied. They start having thoughts like, is this all there is? What's the meaning of life? What is this all about? And this is usually when one cries out to God and your whole life gets flipped upside down. You are taught you have to grab all you can in this life. And now you're hearing things like give to receive and you're trying to make sense out of it. You're hearing things like love your enemy and you start to think, you're crazy. People around you start to think you're crazy. They start telling you things like, that's not how this world works. You don't realize what it takes to survive in this world. And you tell them, yes, I do. That's why we're changing this world. We know exactly what it takes to survive in this mixed world of a monster God that hates wars and kills governments and borders and nations, warring and fighting, trying to grab all they can, not loving their enemies. That's why we're changing this world with the message of the Magi, of the all good God. My friends, then we get this realization that I can give to others because I lack nothing. I am one with the source of all. We cannot outgive the source of all. And you learn that love is all that matters. When you love others, you're loving the animals, you're loving your earth, you're loving your neighbors, you are actually loving yourself. You're loving God and you're living in these higher dimensions that you can't even explain with words. You can't even explain it to yourself or to others because it's not spoken words, it's a vibrated word. It's the word that we live in, that we feel, that we vibrate, that we hold, that we are. It's our very energy that we have become because of, as we have restored the all good spirits image, our own image comes back into focus of who and what we are. Praise God. And now we're in alignment with Asha, with truth, the perfect creator's perfect thought of a perfect creation where everything is, is in that beautiful harmony. And my friends, this is the place where the world makes sense again. When you realize you are one energy with divine life and in divine life, there is no death and you are one energy with divine health and in divine health, there is no sickness or disease. You are one with that light of good spirit. And in that light, there is no darkness. You are joy, you are peace, and you are a powerful creator. And then you start to understand what it's meant by your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, because we find out what we decree and declare from these higher dimensions, so it is on this earth. Praise God. Love is, peace is, protection is, harmony is, God is, good is, and this is where we live in and we create in. My friends, this is the season of the message of the Magi of the all good God. In Asha 13, it says that when we get our spiritual world made straight that our material world comes in to order. And that is what is taking place in you right now. And it's a beautiful awakening. I'm going to ask you, share it with others. Share it with someone today. Share this message. I'm also going to put up a link right now for our newest song, Hashem Vohu. Enjoy it and know that I love you. I love you. I love you.